what's up guys it's cc and i'm back with another youtube video As you guys can tell by the title, <laughs> these are my babies. I'm going to be showing you guys my routine when it comes to my babies in the back. But first, let me introduce you guys to my babies. This is Bailey. Um, Bailey does not like to get held. See, see, she doesn't. She doesn't like it. Like she likes to be in her own world. She likes to be chilling in her own space. She don't like nobody touching her. She don't like nobody bothering her. She just wanna, she just wanna roam free. And this, on the other hand, is my baby Bronx. Bronx is a baby. He's, as you can see, her size compared to him, you can't even put it together if you wanted to. Um, I recently just got Bronx, and I'm excited because he's literally the cutest thing ever. But yes, let's get to it. We're gonna clean the cage out first, really quick, and then we're gonna get to putting all the the fun stuff in there. All right, so the first thing I like to do is wipe it down with some Lysol wipes just to make sure it's clean. And then I go in with some puppy pads because I'm telling you, if you don't have no puppy pads and you got rabbits, you're just making your life a little bit harder. So I would recommend some puppy pads, definitely. Also went shopping for them and look at this hideout I swear it's the cutest thing ever I had to get it and then I got this other hideout it's like tie-dye kind of vibes I didn't know how they were going to take both hideouts so I honestly was just like you know what I'm just gonna get both and then I got them these little chews the cutest thing ever like Oh my gosh. And then I also got them these little blocks. I thought they were the cutest things ever. Now we're going to get their food prepared. They have separate bowls. Um, one for Bronx, one for Bailey, of course. I realized that them having separate bowls is not a good idea and you'll see why at the end of this video <laughs> and I don't know about anybody else but I always feed them bottled water bottled water over faucet water every time now we're going to get into their veggie diet here we have tomato lettuce apple bananas um, green peppers and carrots Wonder why your girl always 
Then now I'm filling up their hay bag, of course. I almost forgot about it. <laughs> Here's what I was saying with it might not be a good idea to give them two bowls each. It just looks too much. So I winded up ordering a hay feeder and a food feeder, like the little two-in-ones, and just switching it out. So I came up with a cute idea. Since both of their names start with B, I went to Walmart and I got this wooden B. I painted it black and I also got like these little, I'm not sure what they're called, like, you'll see them, hold on, hold on. These things, I'm not sure what they're called, but I got a rocket ship for him and then I got a castle for her. I truly thought that was the cutest thing ever. The next day. Hey, hey, it's officially the next day. It only takes one day for the cage to be like this. I try my best to clean it every day to avoid odors and stuff like that. Now it's time for their fruits and veggies again. Um, today we have carrots, lettuce, celery, and bananas, and we have some spinach and some strawberries. I'm not going to try to give them a big portion today, because I already did yesterday. I'm going to try my best to kind of level it out, you know. is literally my favorite part of the video like look at them they are the cutest things ever i swear That's the little two-in-one I was talking about. It has the food at the bottom and the hay at the top. And I don't know the proper name for it, so we're just going to call it a two-in-one. <laughs> But that is all for today, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We out.